Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to combine all the three components of uh, ARIMA models that I talked about earlier and we are going to look at uh, the ARIMA model in uh, its full form. And we can represent uh, this type of ARIMA model in uh, this form, ARIMA, PD and uh, Q. And I talked about the integration part that is how many differences are required to make a non-stationary series stationary. And then the AR model captures uh, how many autoregressive uh, processes we want to include uh, in a model. That is how many lags of uh, YT we want to include in the, in the model and uh, this number is represented by P. And we include P lags of uh, the AR1 process in our model. And the third component we talked about was the moving average part and uh, we include uh, Q lags of uh, moving average of uh, the forecast error in our model. And if we have uh, this type of model, we can represent uh, this model in a full-fledged form uh, in this form. Yt prime refers to the different series, that is, this series has been uh, differenced uh, using uh, the number of differences that was required to make this uh, series stationary. So Yt prime was our differenced series. Now we included uh, p lags uh, of uh, this uh, different series in our model. That is why this model contains uh, p lags of uh, yt prime in it. Similarly, we included uh, q lags of uh, the error in our model. That is why this model is uh, referred to as arima p d and q. Here are some special cases of uh, arima models. A model which requires no difference that D here is a zero and there is no AR or MA process included in this model, this type of model is a white noise model. Similarly, if a model requires differencing to make it stationary but does not include any AR or MA process, this type of model is either called random walk model or random walk with a drift depending on whether we include a constant or uh, not uh, in the model. Similarly, if uh, we do not include uh, this Q part in our model, that is we only include the P lags of uh, YT variable in the model, this type of model is called ARIMA P00 and uh, you can simply write this model as uh, ARP. Similarly, if we do not include any AR process in the model, that is, no autoregressive component is included on the right hand side, but only the error is included, that is, only the moving average part is included in the model, then this Arima model can be written as 00q, that is, no differencing was included and there is no AR process in the model, and this model can be written as MAQ model. But essentially, normally we work with ARIMA models with the P orders of AR process and the Q orders of uh, the moving average uh, process. Now, in R, you can use a auto ARIMA function that will automatically pick uh, P, D and uh, Q for you. You don't have to worry about how many lags of uh, the autoregressive component and the move moving average component you should be including in the model. In the next video, I'm going to show you an example of how to use uh, this auto arima function to fit a model and then forecast based on uh, that model. And later on, we will talk about how to manually pick the values of P and Q and uh, use those values uh, to build uh, our own arima model. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.